Um, the work that I'm doing here in Institut Superior de Agronomia with iMicrobiology is the development of vegan bars with oil seeds uh, and uh, gluten-free cereals with the incorporation of heterotrophic chlorella vulgaris uh, in white, yellow and lime green, green uh, color. The equipment that I'm using is a texturometer. Um, I use this to, to measure the texture uh, and to know uh, the impact of the incorporation of microalgae in the texture of the bars. Um, this equipment uh, makes uh, some cures that, that show us uh, the, um, a peak that is the maximum force to break the, the bar. The results show that the bars with chlorella are more harder um, than the control bar and this is because the protein that gives structure uh, to the, the bars. So this is a controlled stress rheometer. We use this equipment to measure the viscoelastic properties of uh, our dose. Uh, the viscoelastic properties are really important in order to optimize our formulation and uh, the final characteristics of our product. And we can use it for different types of dough. For instance, um, according with the products we explore today, we can use it for the dough of the crackers, for the dough of the snacks, also for the dough of the bars and for the bread, of course. And um, with this equipment, it is easy to observe the impact of microalgae addition in the rheology behavior of the, um, the products. And uh, here we have our dough. This is uh, a bread dough. And uh, we are going to measure um, the viscoelastic linear region for this uh, type of bread, of dough. And uh, this is related, as I explained, with the uh, texture also. And is a measure, we can measure instrumentally the viscoelastic properties. As what we can see here, we can measure it um, with this type of instrument. So here we are measuring the um, G prime and G double prime that are the important rheolo rheolo rheological parameters. And we are going to observe the linear viscoelastic region uh, for this type of dough. With this test, we can uh, observe the um, magnitude of the stress that can be applied for each dough. And this is really important for the next steps of the rheological measurements. Of course, when we have microalgae, um, the viscoelastic linear region, I mean the range of uh, stresses that can be supported by the material, are completely different. And this is an important feature for the product development. So, here we can see uh, the increasing of stresses and the, the elastic and the viscous moduli. And in fact, different microalgae will impact differently uh, the dose. Uh, someone have high uh, protein, so it will increase the, the, the elastic uh, modulus and uh, others uh, will decrease and uh, will have a negative impact in dough. And that's why it's so important to uh, study in terms of uh, product development uh, to, um, to optimize the, the formulation, the receipt and to obtain uh, a product, a bar or a, a snack, a bread with uh, very good quality properties.